my name is Katie Gorsuch and I'm here with Explore WIU. Today I am exploring the Department of History. I'm here with Dr. McNabb, the chairperson of the department, and she's going to talk a little bit about the program and what opportunities we have for students. So Dr. McNabb, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and while you're at WIU, what brought, your he brought you here and um, a little bit about your current position? Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Jen McNabb. This is my 14th, I think, year at Western. Um, I came to WIU um, in part because I am a Midwesterner. I'm from Michigan originally, and I really liked the idea of returning to the Midwest and also the idea of working at a regional public institution like WIU. It offers all of the opportunities of a state institution and also the sort of close personal relationships that can develop between um, colleagues and between students and faculty. So it's the perfect recipe of close personal attention and also connection to a vast array of resources. Great. So you keep talking talk about the um, different pathways students can choose within the history department? Sure. So here at Western, you can uh, select one of three options as a history student. The first is what we call the arts and sciences major, the straight history major. Um, and this prepares students for a wide variety of careers. We have students who work in business, are entrepreneurs, who work in uh, the fields of publishing and broadcasting. So our regular history majors go on to careers success in a, a big number of fields. We also have a very strong teacher education program. Uh, history teacher ed is actually the social studies teacher ed option here at WIU. So in addition to history content, you are certified to teach social sciences courses because of the wide variety of courses that you get here. It's a comprehensive major, so students don't have to select a minor. Their training is so broad in many fields that they're prepared for a career success success as a secondary teacher. And the third option is our pre-law option. This option prepares students for academic success on the LSAT and then in law school. It's a special list of curated courses that we think in the department are most useful for students to develop their critical thinking and writing skills that lawyers have to employ. All right, great. Um, with the pre-law program, you um have the agreement with the school in Chicago, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure, so we're really mindful of the costs of education here at WIU, and one of the things that we've done to reflect that is create a partnership with John Marshall Law School in Chicago. It's a three plus three agreement. So students complete three years here at Western as a history major, and then actually complete their fourth and final year to round out their WIU degree up in Chicago in L1 or their first year of law school. What this does is actually shave an entire year off what should be a seven year set of programs, a WIU undergrad degree and a law school degree at John Marshall. Um, now we have a six year program instead. So we hope that that kind of cost effectiveness is something that students find really attractive about our program. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And um, can you tell us about any opportunities for students have in terms of like scholarships or um, getting the chance to work with like professors on projects or research, things like that? Sure, how much time do you have? Um, we have <laughs> such a tremendous array of opportunities for students in terms of undergraduate research and in terms of uh, financial awards. So we have a range of really generous donors, many former members of the department um, who support students through many scholarships. Several of these scholarships are oriented toward um, first year students. So we have a couple of scholarships for first year freshmen. We have some that are dedicated to honors history students and teacher ed students. So every type of career and academic track here at WIU is actually mm -hmm. supported by scholarship monies. Um, we also have a number of paper prizes. Again, very generous support from friends of the department 
allow us to award uh, monies for the best undergraduate paper mm -hmm. in an academic year, the best graduate paper in an academic year. We also have a special award for junior and senior history majors who excel partway through the program, and we try to award monies to transfer students when their academic performance before WIU allows us to support their endeavors as well. So lots of uh, pots of money for <laughs> students to dip into. One of those pots is related to um, student professional development. So we have some departmental monies and we're also supported by the College of Arts and Sciences for undergraduate research. Students work closely with professors on individual research projects. Sometimes these are um, uh, coming out of a class project. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're just something students want to research on their own. We've had students go to the Newberry Library in Chicago, this world-class research facility, um, and the department pays for the train ticket, pays for a day in the city for um, professional research. Students also regularly go to academic conferences from the department and with departmental support. So the idea is to assist students to conduct research and then help them take their findings out to the wider academic community. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Um, and then with that, uh, what opportunities are there for students in terms of like the student organizations the department has? So we have two really active student organizations. One is our curriculum club, the Associated Students of History, mm -hmm. or ASH. Um, ASH is an award-winning <laughs> organization. They won the College of Arts and Sciences mm -hmm. Outstanding Student Organization Award uh, last year and they meet every two weeks friends of history so it's majors it's history minors mm -hmm. it's people who just love uh, the field of history and mm -hmm. they have all kinds of activities some are professional development some are really social um, it's a way for students to get to know one another and have a sense of community here on campus every semester they take a field trip to an area historical site and that's provided for by the department thanks to some really generous support Support from a former department chair named mm -hmm. Gordon Kirk. He endowed a fellowship to help support ASH activities and uh, students have an opportunity to work downtown at the Western Illinois uh, Museum. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a special partnership that exists between ASH and the museum and it's great for student um, sort of preparation for mm -hmm. internships. And I should say um, the department has recently developed a new track in the curriculum to have students uh, get an opportunity in their senior year to learn more about historical conservation, Mm -hmm. preservation, museum studies. It's what uh, sort of loosely falls under the heading of what we call public history. Mm -hmm. And our students in recent years have been more and more interested about how to take a history degree and have an active relationship in a local community, mm -hmm. working for a museum or working for a state historic site, for example. And this new course we're really excited about because it acquaints students with many of the really important fundamentals for public history. Mm -hmm. Our second student organization is the Greek Letter Organization, our honor mm -hmm. society, Phi Alpha Theta, and this is available stu to students who've demonstrated academic success in the department. Um, the organization also publishes annually a journal known as the Western Illinois um, Historical Review, mm -hmm. and that is available to read online and it's a peer-reviewed journal where students act as the editors so mm -hmm. lots of opportunities for cool. students to have professional development um, either as a submitter of a manuscript or mm -hmm. as one of these Phi Alpha Theta officers who helps to shepherd um, manuscripts through the production process. Mm -hmm. All right great um, and then can you talk about some of the unique uh, other unique courses we have um, with the history department, so like the London experience, you just got back from um, leading students there over spring break. Right, so history has a, a sort of historical relationship <laughs> um, with overseas study. Um, we really believe strongly in the importance of getting students to broaden their horizons, and that includes geographically mm -hmm. broadening one's horizons. So Dr. Chamberlain routinely takes students to Germany, um, really fantastic courses. I take students to Great Britain. I just returned from a study abroad course in London over spring break 
college is the perfect time to engage in overseas travel. Um, mm -hmm. Never in your life are you going to have the kinds mm -hmm. of opportunities that you do with a study abroad course. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not just the freedom of time, but it's also the access. So we're able to do things and study abroad courses that a regular tourist couldn't do. Mm -hmm. The learning opportunities are uh, amazing. For example, we got to sit in at the Old Bailey, um, the mm -hmm. UK's criminal court, and we sat in on a terrorist trial. Mm -hmm. That's not something that a lot of people uh, have the opportunity to do. So study abroad is something that we're really passionate about mm -hmm. here in the Department of History. Um, we have a wide number of courses to basically scratch any historical itch uh, that mm -hmm. you might have. We have specialists in world history, in American history, in European history, and we cover the chronology of global history as well, from Dr. Bryce, who teaches in the ancient world, um, mm -hmm. to a whole number of um, modern history uh, professors in America, Asia and the Pacific, South Africa, mm -hmm. and Europe. So lots of courses to choose from. Awesome. And I can speak for study abroad five times at Western, so I always <laughs> encourage it with students. Absolutely. Um, all right. And then do you have any um, words of advice or um, final thoughts to say to prospective students or their families who might be thinking of coming to Western and specifically the history department? We are really proud of our students here in the history department at WIU. And I think watching students um, sort of get outside their comfort zone and grow and mature during the time I've spent at WIU, it's such a fulfilling experience. Mm -hmm. Professors here really care about their students. We are available and want to assist our students. Our doors are open. Um, we teach our classes. We don't have graduate student teachers, but we have a number of grad students who assist us in making sure that students get the tips and tricks that they need for academic success. Mm -hmm. We care about your success and we're invested in it. So I hope that you'll consider joining us here in Macomb or in the Quad Cities. All right. Well, thank you for Dr. Thank you, Dr. McNabb, for joining me today. And thank you for everyone who is watching.